Well, Katie Egbert says her husband had made a dramatic change for the worse just in the past six months. She believes last Thursday he was trying to commit suicide by cop. You want food? Are you hungry? You want water? You want bath? You want bath? Edgar Egbert had served as a Marine, a mechanic oh, by so trade have. who loved animals. So but his wife, Katie, says he had turned into a dark monster, more so the past six months. She says the two had been fighting, and last Wednesday night, she recorded the conversations. Okay. Well, let me do it. Okay. Well, let me do it. All right, Edgar, I'll get it. Where do you want me to get it? What do you want me to do? I'll get it to anywhere. Egbert is now accused of kidnapping and trying to kill six Madison County deputies. She says Edgar told her he chained one of their friends to a bed in their home Thursday, and then she became even more frightened. This is that I'm morning. I'm going to kill you, Vic. I'm not there in 45 minutes. Katie, I'm going to put it simply one more time. This is not a joke. He did not pay me to be a good actor and call you and do this. This is not staged. She eventually did call authorities, and that started into motion a devastating turn of events, with Edgar Ebert allegedly firing shots at multiple deputies, striking several, and shooting Deputy Brad Sullivan in the head. Sullivan is still clinging to life. Not only did, is this officer fighting for his life, but like, I lost my husband that day. A dad. Katie says she believes her husband wanted to commit suicide by cop. But the why part is hard to understand. Keep racking my brain, like, what happened to make him really just flip? If Edward was intending suicide by cop, he apparently changed his mind because he surrendered after he was shot. Egbert is being held without bond on a laundry list of charges that include possession of two fully automatic weapons, kidnapping, and the attempted murder of six law enforcement officers. Back to you.